<clears throat> Welcome back to Corpus, or full name, let me double check. Also move my microphone. Ooh. Gotta get comfortable. Corpus buried over the black soil. Steam, stop fucking with me, man. Alright, hopefully it didn't fuck with the recording. But yeah, we're going to where I left off of reading this note and getting a checkpoint. That I'm anxious to finally know the truth. His life's work, what could be so secretive? It couldn't have possibly been worth all these years in seclusion. That's where you're wrong. And we're continuing from there. So yeah, let's continue on. The mystery. What's up with this goddamn fucking old man? I guess we'll go back to his office and see what's changed. Hmm, we're not. Maybe we can go to the dude in the typewriter room. The journal spends in a uh, typewriter. Well, that's the same note I already read. Oh, oh yeah, we got a key. All right, whoop. Let's close the door in case. No typewriter. This note's definitely gonna change something. I'm standing in his office after all this time. There's nothing to be found, no answers to anything. I get the feeling that he can't have been working alone. It's like there was a bigger machine behind all of this. Oh. His desk hidden among many. A damn maid, Olena, keeps snooping. Wait, Olena? Olena was a maid rather than the wife? She keeps snooping around. I swear... But it wasn't the, the bug dude and Olena the housekeepers? Weird. The more she reads... Oh, so... No, it was the old guy then had Olena... Who's the maid... Was the one who was bathing him and they got together? I don't know. By carefully reading through everything, one can seemingly... Gains seemingly infinite amounts of wisdom, even if it means retreating or retreading through old phrases to return. I made sure to destroy all the evidence on this floor, didn't I? Well, not anymore, probably. Let's discover the evidence. Hmm. Evidence. Hmm. Let's just think it's a farmer's union thing. Maybe you wanted me to look at that again? I'm standing. Oh, it reverts. Huh. Interesting. So for when I leave, I had to look at that note again. Where the fuck is this evidence they're referring to? didn't see anything. Must be missing something. This? Oh, oh, oh. The government has given me a purpose. My task is to deny, cover up, and lie about events that took place here in 1933. To drown out uh, the enemy voices as if it's never happened. I will live here, right at the epicenter. Ugh. Amongst the vermin, they'll be too scared to do anything. I will dedicate my life to fulfill the goal, or this goal. At the end, all my efforts will be rewarded. 1933, though. Really? That, that's all it wanted me to find? 
Of all this, I'd expect there'd be a little bit more, but... Now, look... Mm, I really don't think there'd be anything else, honestly. Because the implication I had made before was that there'd be... Um, you know, more. But the game hasn't provided evidence that it's going to be uh, anything but linear. I knew there was something more behind this. The journalist was directing all of it from his office in this remote village. All that just to hide and deny what really happened. What could have been so horrible to warrant such effort? I'm closer to the truth than ever. Alright. What is this truth? What is the mystery even? I don't even know, man. I'm so confused. All I know is it's like something weird about the old man and the person who's on the typewriter, who are two different people. But as for Olena, the person who got close to... And who the fuck is his name again? Vasil. That they got close, but then he became abusive. Was Olena was a maid who worked for him. I think the same maid who bathed him? I don't know. My husband... Yeah, see, Olena's diary. My husband confessed the murder to me. There were no other options, he explained. Not after what he did to your family. We had to make the body disappear. Vasil used some kind of flesh-eating insects to clean the body to the bone. Together, we destroyed every evidence of him ever existing. Who is him? The typewriter dude? The journalist? Poetic justice, he said. Now his skeleton hangs in the corner of the study, hidden in plain sight. He told me that the journalist had something to do with the faith of my family. They lived here when I was still a little girl. No wonder this place seemed so familiar to me. Vasilo wouldn't tell me what had happened to them. I had to find out myself. Oh. So this is the journalist. Funny. So something the journalist... Vasil got revenge on the journalist who did something wrong, but he didn't explain what. Now that with the lights out, though, it means I can be attacked by Vasil again. Alright. Oh yeah, the funny thing is too, when we were being chased in that whole uh, bathroom tile sort of area, apparently the developer m made an update right after I finished recording that, that re significantly, significantly reduced the difficulty of that, uh, of that scene. Which is kind of funny to me because it was like right after I, uh, did it. And I did it fine. I, didn't, I wouldn't imagine it's too hard. Game needs difficulty, but I'm guessing they're trying to focus on story, mystery, and narrative rather than difficulty and death. These lands are known for their fertility. The harvests grow bigger on this black soil than anywhere else in Europe, and this year was no different. But it didn't matter. Everything was taken away. Somebody claimed to have seen people burying the green. Why would they do that? Place is kind of turning shitty now. Last night the soldiers came. There was no one. There was no fighting them back. They took everything, stripped the house clean. As they were leaving, I asked, "How am I supposed to feed my children?" And they didn't answer. So it's like during World War II, rather. German soldiers? Or American soldiers? Or Russian soldiers? If it even matters. The town has fallen silent. All I can hear is someone next door crying for help. Too weak to leave their house. Many have gone looking for food, never to be seen again. Even the dogs in the neighborhood are quiet. They've ended up on plates. I've heard rumors of something worse. I'm confused about the whole rotation system. I was presuming the rotation would come into use to see hidden messages on the other side or back sides of, uh, of notes or something, but so far that's just never happened. Our baby boy has gotten weak, very weak. Pavlo and I talked for hours. He kept telling me how he'd figured out how to save us, but I didn't understand what he was trying to tell me. Soon I did, and I wanted to hear nothing of it. There was no talking around him. What I had to do afterwards will haunt me for the rest of my days. Olana was overjoyed when I presented her with a steamy kettle of meat soup. 
I told her that her father had bought it from the market and went looking for more. I couldn't imagine telling her the truth. Is it the baby boy or was it the dogs? I'm gonna presume it was Pavlo. Pablo got very weak. Coincidentally, we have meat stew now. Um, I mean, it would be a better choice to find dogs rather than eat baby meat. But, uh, yeah. Especially, you know, we have a crib here. The baby passed away while I was sleeping. I keep telling myself my husband's sacrifice was worth it. In truth, it only kept the rest of us going for a little while longer. I haven't heard our daughter for a while. Olena, are you alright? I'm starting to get too weak to come look for you. Jeez, everything's sort of turning all miserable here. We need some good news. Wait, what? I need to find more notes. Here's a note. Nikita, our eldest, hasn't spent a lot of time home lately. I don't like the company he's been keeping. From what I've heard from him, he's quite popular amongst them. It makes me worried. There are murmurs of awful things happening around town. Houses being ransacked. People getting hurt. People are saying Nikita is leading the brigade. Where is all this coming from? He must be doing someone else's bidding. If the rumors are true, it's only a matter of time before he comes knocking on the door of his own family. Hmm. Implications. Walking through the house among his men, he acted like a completely different person. He was wearing military garments, just like those soldiers that forced many of us t to the farms a few years ago. Nikita didn't even look at me as he walked straight into the basement, clearly after the supplies he had been carrying in the last few days. Suddenly, I knew just what to do. over there. I'm missing something. Am I missing a no? Can I go over? No. Can I push it? What am I missing? I'm... Oh, there you are. The old family cellar. I hadn't been there since forever. As a kid, I used to run around here imagining all kinds of things, but enough reminiscing. The basement must be emptied, every grain of it. I've had time to think things over. I don't need anybody else. I guess this is the writing of uh, Nikita now? Screw the officials and their money, let them starve. I've earned this. Everything here belongs to me. To me. Hmm, it's been reduced a little bit. Still need to read that one note. The rest of them won't get their hands on this, neither my family nor my mindless followers, and they never will. The door to the basement will stay shut, and I've got the only key. He's just gonna lurk in the basement forever while slowly feeding upon grains? The food is slowly running out. 
I think the darkness is starting to get to my head. Or get in my head. Yeah, that's definitely a huge difference. The things I imagined as a child don't seem so crazy after all. I think I finally found the place I truly belong in. Mm. Basement's grown. Days are starting to blend together. I don't remember hearing anything from behind the basement door for a long time. The feeling of hunger is starting to settle in. So everyone's just upstairs, it's just fucking dead. More or less, unless they kept eating each other. Too. I'm gonna assume that's a projection of the madman. Hey, hey! Fucking shooting me through the goddamn. He's shooting me through goddamn bookshelves. Ah! I call bullshit. Wait, was I deliberately meant to do circles? Yeah, yeah. Woo. Maggots? Or macaroni and cheese? Hmm. Or not, not macaroni and cheese like the noodle shape, but what's that? What's that one noodle? It's like sort of like a, it's a seashell sort of shape. I can't remember the, but yeah, that painting's finally gone, or finally open. But soon, it's about macaroni and cheese. Hmm. Macaroni and cheese. Maybe we've gone so insane we've imagined macaroni and cheese and it became reality. Recall why, but a couple of days ago I went to check if the lock of the door is still functioning. The do lock works, but the door won't open. My worthless mother has blocked the door from the other side. I can see her through the window of the door, sitting in the old chair. No matter how loud I scream at her, she won't move or respond. I can't get out even if I wanted to. There's someone standing there with a note. Now we have jars here. <laughs> ah, great, more adventuring. Why do we have jars of food though? Oh, okay. Ah. Fucking <laughs> Russian soldier. Presumably Russian. I'm not a historian. Oh my god, my stamina wasn't so fucking garbage. The place is flooding with more macaroni and cheese. I 
guess we're going back here. Why do we do that process, though? Now it's hung. There's more macaroni and cheese. And now she's in the chair. The people I left behind have come back, faded in pain, the result of a machine stripping them all of their humanity. They are powerless to do anything, but none of that matters anymore. They are here with me, buried beneath the surface. Ah, my more more mazes. And more Soviet soldier chasing me with the gun. No? Yes? No? Oh, okay. No, you. You do. What? I'm supposed to probably run around them? Maybe? Maybe I'm meant to run this way. This way? Oh, okay. Shit just changed behind me is all. Even more macaroni and cheese. Or it's... No, it's not done. Yeah, but I was definitely meant to go the other way. I probably just went backwards. Okay, we have to go this way then. Wait. What's... So wait, I wasn't meant to go behind him? Maybe I messed up. He didn't respawn. There was thankfully nothing behind him then. Alright. There we go. Now the door is gone. Okay. And there's the no. Oh. The bodies of the people are here with me, lying next to each other like bundles of grain, buried together in harmony. Within this soil I will build my church. Really, it all turned into a fucking macaroni and cheese cult? I'm so confused. We are the buried. I'm confused. The game went from, okay, I understand everything, and now I'm just like, wait, what? Suddenly the walls are closing in on me. All I have is the empty soil in my hands, falling through my fingers. Please, mother, let me out of here. Oh. So it's just... Okay, so... He built a religion in his head? I'm going to presume is... Maybe they'd open the door and throw the dead bodies down here? That he continued to eat on the dead bodies of those that they threw down? So he became a cannibal. The only way he survived is by eating the dead bodies that they buried? And he'd eat the maggots that were on the dead bodies and the dead bodies themselves, perhaps? And, you know, like cannibalism and insanity and all that. And just... 
the walls closing in was just his sanity before snapping and with the gun in his hand, presumably, he shot himself before the final moments. So he Hitlered himself. That's at least my theory. But I don't know what the what accuracy the religion has with other people besides him as himself and his own sanity and trying to keep it together. The Neverax. The monster locked the basement door behind him and hasn't come out in days. If he truly wishes to stay in the basement, he better remain there for good. I ripped him out of the only photo of our family. He shouldn't be remembered. The chair feels softer than usual. Maybe I should rest my eyes for a minute. Olena, if you're still out there, get out of this hellhole. Escape. Huh. They are the buried. Leaving is what they'd want me to do. I'm gonna check upstairs, or... No. I like the music. Gladiator ending. Gotta rub my hands against the fucking wheat. It'd be a pleasant feeling, I'm sure. Nice, dry summer heat. Having your hands touch the wheat, nice dry, non-humid moisture, and just no moisture, just dry heat. Very nice. If I were to have some kind of mental happy peak, it would be a form of something similar to that. Not wheat field in particular, but nice dry summer heat, plains of land, as far as the eye can see. That would be my peak. But jokingly also referred by the <laughs> gladiator ending. Only people who've seen the gladiator will get the joke. But I'm hoping that me referring to it uh, gave some people a little bit of a chuckle. Besides that, office dog, HR, Coda. Besides that, no, good game. Solid game. Um, Ten bucks may be a little high, but for a game that can be beaten in roughly... I think, I'd, I guess I'd say an hour and a half is basically my time. An hour and a half for $10 is a little much. I'd still say that the developers have earned it, per se. I would think $5 would be a lot more justifiable. Um, I mean, even, even like games like, what was it, like Fear and Hunger, for instance. I don't want to make... I don't want to make flawed comparisons here, but uh, let me let me remind myself, at the very least, fear and hunger. Oh, eight. Fear and hunger is eight USD. Hmm, maybe, but fear and hunger also has like twenty plus hours gameplay. I mean, that's RPGs for you. I don't know. It's it's hard to say because ten dollars is a lot for an hour to two hour experience. But, I can also say the game definitely does have a lot of quality to it. Um, it's it's a steep price, but I I can also acknowledge the game has good good detail put into it. There... There's no bugs, there's no problems, it was just a solid one to two hour experience. Um, it's really hard to go from there. But, the only thing I guess I can wrap it up with is... the. The mechanic of photos and notes, I think, were underutilized. The concept or the mechanic or the gimmick of reading or seeing something and it fucks your campaign over, I think, should be amplified. Like, to make a game that is exactly the same in concept 
but literally notes, photos, visual cues, everything you simply experience or come to understand, knowledge you gain, information you witness to be used against you in a game where there's a lot of optionals and there's a lot of mandatory. Sort of like, think of it like a 50-50 RNG where there's like notes, there's evidence, there's things around you. The only way for you to stay ignorant is like sort of the monkey no see, monkey no say, monkey no hear. But it's in a game where the only way to beat the game is to take the risk of learning things at the cost of there being the repercussions of knowledge. Because as the game advertised, knowledge is pain. However, in this game, knowledge is pain is a little bit of, uh, like I said, underutilized. Because everything was mandatory. It was a linear game. So if the developers feel confident in making a game where they take this idea and, like I said, amplify it, where it's like, there's sort of a set, I mean, there's probably just no path. The game I'd be visualizing for this mechanic would be something comparable to you're sent somewhere, you don't know how to get out, and the only way for you to know how to proceed through the game is to absorb as much as the surrounding as you can to learn how to escape, whether it be, let's say, uh, it's like comparable to a fear and hunger dungeon. Like a dungeon, you're trapped, you cannot go backwards, the only way forward is through the darkness and forward, but the repercussions of knowledge means, you know, yeah, we read a note, It'll, it's amplified. I don't think I need to explain anymore. Everyone knows what I'm trying to say. The mechanic has a lot of potential. Photographs of a hallway that's right behind you with a monster with a claw that's just about to reach out and get you or a monster that's just about to chase you. So many variables, just like sort of a... You know, this, you know, you could look at a photo. Oh, you see a health kit there. Now a health kit exists, but it wasn't there before. And the risk factor of, do you look at it? Do you need to look at it? Is it the right thing to look at? You don't know until you do it. And you had to bite the bullet and take the consequences. That, you might be gifted some things, and you might be cursed in the others. It's got so much potential. Ah, oh, I just, I, I could just imagine how big that would be. Like, if it was just fully fleshed out, fully polished, I'm sure YouTubers would fucking love it. Like, just something that has, like, a lot of potential, a lot of strings, a lot of pathways, a lot of variables. Even if you made it so it's just, like, random tile sets and randomized photos and randomized notes that every playthrough is unique. Because, say, say, it's like, like what what is that one dungeon game I play that was in VR? Um, shit. I have to remember now. Ah yes, Dread Halls. Just imagine something like Dread Halls. It doesn't have to be VR, but Dread Halls and the dungeons, catacombs are all... Uh, like, it could. It doesn't have to be a dungeon, but everything is randomized. The note positions randomized, the barrels, the boxes, the environment can be randomized from uh, like specific tile sets, and from hundreds and hundreds of generated notes, and the server will just generate a level for you, and so every time you play the game, it's a hit or miss. It'll just be based on RNG and risk factors. It's either that or nothing RNG, but a solid experience and multiple endings, yada yada. Just, there's too much potential. It, it, I could just imagine it, and I'm just like, shit, that would blow so many people out of the fucking water. It would be amazing if done properly. But maybe, maybe something will happen. Maybe the developers will be like, that's an awesome idea, let's do it. Or someone else will. Or just someone else down the future and has no relation to this video or this game or me. Who knows? But that potential just argh, it's bugging me. I want it. <laughs> I want it. Okay, but let's leave it here. Uh, almost 40 minutes. Let's leave it here. My room is fucking hot. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed Corpus Buried Over the Black Soil, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber. Head notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.